Antics, welcome to my channel. I hope you are well today because we have another crafty DIY to get stuck into. Now, in this week's video, we are looking at all things pom poms because who doesn't love a pom pom? I know I do. They just fill you with a little bit of round, fluffy joy, and they really add a bit of cuteness and a bit of something else to any of your home decor. Now, I have previously made a pom pom cushion, which is basically pom-poms lining around the edge of cushions and this week I thought I would up my pom-pom game and have a go at making my own DIY pom-pom rug because I just thought pom-poms are so soft they are going to feel lovely underfoot getting out of bed or under seating where you maybe sat at a table oh it's going to feel divine so I thought yes let's have a go at making a pom pom rug and that's what I am sharing with you today now do be warned you will need a lot a lot a lot of wool to make these pom poms and do be careful because it is quite a repetitive movement and I can really feel it in my hand and arm because I have spent days making pom poms and making this rug so it's not a small project it will take you a little bit of time but if that doesn't put you off then here is how to make your own DIY pom pom rug. Now, before I get into it, if you're not subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button because there's lots of videos like this coming up every single week on a Sunday. I post lots of different crafty videos and tutorials and sometimes travel vlogs when we can travel. So yes, if you are enjoying this video, then please do hit that subscribe button because it would be lovely to have you as part of the crafting family on Ames's Antics. And with that said, let's get crafting. To make your pom pom rug you are going to need different colours of wool here so I'm using lots of different colours to match in with my artwork that I have on my wall which is a dark tropical type vibe so there's teal colours, there's greens, there's blues, there's purples and I thought I'd go for white because there's other accents of white in my bedroom but I thought yes this will look lovely as a rug and you can use any amount of wool that you want, any colours that you want to really suit your decor. You are also going to need a non-slip grip mat which you will cut down to size to add on your pom-poms too. Now you, these are designed to be put under your mats that you already have but um, yes we'll be using this for the base of the mat. You'll also need a pom-pom maker and I am also going to show you how to make your own pom-poms with some cardboard, a lint remover because this helps fluff up the pom-poms a bit more and some sharp scissors. To make your DIY pom-pom rug you are going to need lots of pom-poms so you need a pom-pom maker to do this. You can use a standard everyday pom-pom maker or make your own out of cardboard. I'll show you both methods here. So to make the cardboard pom-pom maker you want to take a lid from a jar and you want to make sure this is big enough for your pom-pom because you want a lad sized pom-pom for the rug and just mark around this with a marker pen or a pencil whichever you have to hand on a piece of cardboard now you want to do this twice so you want two circles marked out then use some scissors and cut these out After cutting out your two circles you then want to mark on like a keyhole shape from one edge of the circle and cut these out so that they match. You will be placing both together to make your pom pom. Taking your chosen wool you want to start looping this round from the inside to the outside of your newly cut out pom pom maker, wrapping this round making sure it is a nice and thick layer so you might need to go around a few times starting on one end and working your way around to the other. Then you just want to snip off once you have reached the thickness of pom pom that you want. You 
You also want to cut off a piece of the wool as this will form the tie for the pom-pom. Make sure that you have enough length so it makes it easy enough to tie the pom-pom together. Then use this piece of wool and thread it between the two cardboard pieces of the pom-pom maker, pulling one to the back and keeping it in your hand and pulling it up to the back of the wool if you get what I mean and then cut down the middle of the pom-pom maker to release the wool strands now be careful when you are doing this because you may snip into the cardboard and you may lose a bit of the wool so hold a tight grip on them and move that loose piece of string up through the middle each time you cut a bit of the wool just to try and keep that wool tight in place at the bottom then carry on cutting around and bringing that piece of wool around tying it tightly in a knot or double knot to secure your pom-pom together and then you have a pom-pom For this project I decided to use a pom-pom maker just because it is a bit more durable than the cardboard version and gives you a bit more even pom-pom especially if you're making a massive batch of pom-poms like you need for this project. So to use a pom-pom maker all you do is pull the arms out from the middle and begin wrapping your wool all the way around these arm pieces and then you want to make sure you are continually wrapping until the wool is thick enough and generally this means that there is no curve at the bottom and the arm piece looks a bit more straight when it's full of wool so, but you can add as much or as little wool as you want to this piece it'll just vary the size of your pom pom and the fluffiness of this so do this on both of the arms and then place the arms back inside the pom pom maker ready to be cut so use some scissors, cut any joining pieces of wool and then cut down the middle of the pom pom maker to release those pieces of wool. Similar to the cardboard version, you want to make sure you keep a good hold of the pom-pom maker here because the cutting action may make the arms move slightly and you don't want the arms opening because you will lose all that precious wool and your newly forming pom-pom. Then using a bit of wool, so cut this at a decent length and place it down the middle of the pom-pom maker so that it captures in all those loose bits of wool. Now you want to tie this in a tight knot and what I like to do is tie it on one side and then re-thread it through back to the other and double or triple knotting it here just for some added extra security and making sure the pom-pom is going to stay secured. Now be careful when you are doing this, if you pull too tightly you may snap the wool. Um, but yes, so once you have attached and secured the pom-pom, you want to release it from the pom-pom maker and you have a pom-pom. Now you may find that your pom-pom is a bit uneven, so you can just trim this down with some scissors to make it a bit more uniform, or you can leave it a bit rough around the edges, whatever you prefer. And then just to fluff up the pom-pom, use a lint roller and rubbing this over the pom-pom. This just adds a bit of extra fluffiness because it releases some of the fibres and loosens them up, as well as removing any loose bits of wool. And you should have a fluffy pom-pom once you go over this with the lint roller once you've decided which method you want to use to make your pom-poms it is time to make a ton of them because you are going to need a load for this pom-pom rug so get pom-pom making Once you think you have enough pom-poms, it is time to cut down your non-slip mat. So I just folded this to where I want it to be and cut it to my desired size. You can have this in any shape or size that you like. I'm having a bit more of a runner style rug here, but you could have it square or you could have it circle. The possibilities are endless and it is whatever you want your rug to be. So cut it down to size before adding on any pom-poms.
So here are all my pom-poms. I've got them in lots of different colours. I've gone for grey, white, purples, and this lovely petrol greeny teal colour as well as some blue. And I think I have over a hundred here. I don't know if that is going to be enough for this length. So if you are going to attempt this, you are going to need a lot, a lot of pom-poms to make this rug but let's get attaching some making some form of pattern and then make some more pom-poms as and when they are needed to attach the pom-poms to the rug you want to just use the long tail that you left whilst you were making the pom-poms and thread this through the gaps of the non-slip mat now in this example here i've only threaded it through two gaps like were quite close to each other and later on I started increasing the amount of gaps just to help pull the pom-poms where I wanted them to sit because you may find that your pom-poms do move and they don't fully sit where you want them to and it does help close up a few gaps if you do extend the amount that you are sort of threading the pom-pom through with then just tie it in a double or triple knot to make sure it is fully secure you also do want to cut off any of the tails that are left now make sure you don't cut these too short because if they do accidentally come undone it is so much harder to fasten them on then just keep repeating until your pom-pom rug is full of pom-poms So I have got just over halfway through with the pom-poms. If you can hear any screaming, I'm sorry, there's some kids outside. It's absolutely chucking it down. I think they must be dancing in the rain. But hey, that's a kid's prerogative. Yeah, so I've got about halfway down. I've still got all this left to go. And I'm going to actually have to make some more pom-poms because I've, I've got a few left, but they're not enough to alternate the patterns. So I've got to keep making some more. Now I did have to, ooh, let me get my shot. Now I did have to make some more pom-poms um, already. And I had to buy some more wool. And I don't know if you can quite see here. So the I did, couldn't get hold of the same wool. So I've had to buy something similar and it's a bit brighter colour. So that's one of the ones where you can see it's slightly not as greeny petrol. It's more of a turquoisey petrol. And the same with the purple. Here you can see this is a bit more brighter than this like dark mauve purple. But I don't think you lose the effect. I still think it looks really nice. And I am loving how it's turned out. It feels so soft when I put my hands and I've tested it out on my feet and it does feel lovely so it's just time to make some more pom-poms and get this bit filled in so yes this project i guess isn't for the faint hearted you were making pom-poms until they come out of your ears and then some more so let's get making some more pom-poms and finishing this rug So this is what your rug will look like underneath once it's all finished. You can see all the different knots and you should have trimmed them. Now be careful, I've learned the hard way. Don't trim the, the um, knots too close. Leave a little bit of a tail because some of the pom-poms have been coming off of here, here. So I've had to reattach them with a bit of cotton rather than the wool. So yes, maybe leave your tails of your knots a little bit longer. And then... Once you've put all your pom-poms on, your pom-pom rug is ready. have how to make a DIY pom pom rug. I think this has turned out really, really beautiful. 
it's slightly different to how I imagine it was going to be but all projects do that I always think you have something in your mind and you maybe can't fully get it to look how you want it to look now some of the pom-poms did start to narrow in a little bit and I think that's just how I was tying them on so it is a little bit unsymmetrical but I think that adds to the charm of the pom-pom rug and I really like how the colours have tied in with some of my other decor pieces behind me you can see on the wall it's really tying in the decor of the room now it's really nice and soft underfoot especially if you sat with it on your with your feet onto it but maybe when you're walking on it it does feel a little bit lumpy and hard in places now this is just because the pom-poms have been fluffed up with that lint brush so it's made them really fluffy but then all where it's connected is really dense so you'll just feel feel the knots I guess when you're walking on it so it's slightly uncomfortable but it's not unmanageable it's not like walking on a bed of nails so <laughs> it's only a knotted bit of wool but yes I think it's turned out lovely let me know what you think in them comments below will you be having a go at it what colours would you have in your pom-pom rug do put it down in them comments and hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video because it does help me out and it's free so why not help spread a bit of positivity in a world that at the moment is not as positive as it could be so yes let's spread a bit of positivity by hitting that like button and if you are new here or not subscribed then why don't you check that subscribe button because there's lots more other videos like this already on the channel and I have future crafty projects coming up onto the channel in the next few weeks months and hopefully years and they come up onto the channel every Sunday morning at 9am so be sure to check them out as well by subscribing and check out my blog Ames's Antics linked below as well because there's a ton more information over on Ames's Antics there's a blog post to go with every video so yes be sure to check that out as well and with that said I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I will see you in next week's video.